The Children's Hour by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow Illustrations by Glenna Lang The Children's Hour Between the dark and the daylight when the night is beginning to lower comes a pause in the day's occupations that is known as the Children's Hour. I hear in the chamber above me the patter of little feet, the sound of a door that is opened, and voices soft and sweet. From my study I see in the lamplight, descending the broad hall stair, grave Alice and laughing Allegra, and Edith with golden hair. A whisper. And then a silence. Yet I know by their merry eyes they are plotting and planning together to take me by surprise. A sudden rush from the hallway, a sudden raid from the hall. By three doors left unguarded, they enter my castle wall. They climb up into my turret or the arms and back of my chair if I try to escape, they surround me. They seem to be everywhere. They almost devour me with kisses, their arms about me entwine, till I think of the Bishop of Bingen in his mouse tower on the Rhine. Do you think, O oh blue-eyed banditi, because you have scaled the wall, such an old mustache as I am is not a match for you all. I have you fast in my fortress and will not let you de depart. But put you down into the dungeon in the round tower of my heart. And there will I keep you forever. Yes, forever and a day, till the walls shall crumble to ruin and molder in dust away. <laughs>